Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Scallop Tag Topper Punch, complemented with either the oval framelits or the round framelits. So today um, I have two Christmas cards that we're going to do, but it can lend itself to any occasion with any um, stamp sets. Just make them fit inside the ovals or the circles. So this is a card that I'm going to do in one of my classes, and this is one of the ones I'm going to show you how to do today um, with a little bit of a twist on it. So let's get started. Our first thing that we need to do is to cut a card base that is 11 by 4 or yeah, 11 by 4 and a quarter and I scored it at five and a half right up here. Now what I have is my uh, silver foil paper and that is cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So let's add some adhesive to that and we're going to kind of center it maybe onto this. This is going to be just a little bit different than the other card because I'm going to use my um, circle framelits instead. Now the next piece of cardstock is Knight of Navy and I cut that at three and five eighths by three and five eighths. It's just an eighth of an inch smaller than um, the silver foil paper. I just wanted a little hint of the silver. Okay, so I'm just going to take and I'm going to center that onto my paper right there. Okay, we'll set that aside because now we're going to work on the um, image itself. So let's stamp the image first and I'm going to do that with my silver Encore ink and I'm just going to stamp that onto scrap paper. So this time I'm going to use the Mingle All The Way stamp and um, I'm going to use my silver Encore ink and my Mingle All The Way and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to cut it out with my framelit. Okay, so there's that and I'm going to cut that with um, the smaller of the two. Let's put this away and I'm going to cut that with the smaller of the two circles that I'm going to use. So here is the mingle all the way and now I need to cut out this this um, this little ornament right here. So what I do, let me just show you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scallop tag topper punch and this piece of paper I think is just four by four and that's just to show you you can make it a little bit smaller but I'm going to center it from side to side and then I'm just going to take and I'm going to punch it. Okay, so now it looks like this. The next thing I need to do is to go over to the Big Shot and when I go over to the Big Shot I'm going to take this and I'm going to, oh I hope you can see this, um, I'm just going to take and I'm going to lay this on here like that, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to run it through the Big Shot, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have cut out both of my um, pieces. This is what the scallop tag topper looks like and this is what my mingle all the way looks like. I just cut them both out and this is going to fit just nicely right over the top of this, just like that. Alright, so let's get our card base back and I'm going to take and put little pop dots on the back of this and let's just put some, I think four of them on here, that would be good. And take these off and then I'm just going to center that in the middle of my base card right here. See doesn't that look like a little ornament? This one is a round one, this one is an oval one because I used my round framelits here and I used my oval framelits on this one. And then for this right here I'm just going to take and I'm going to use my adhesive and just stamp, or um, just uh, tape that onto the middle. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is make a double fork bow and I do have a video on that but I'm just going to take my pick and my fork and I want it to be a big one so um, I'm going to go and use the 8 inch mark. Yesterday when I was doing this I used the, the blue um, painters tape but today I'm going to use the um, the black uh, electrical tape and that's just my uh, my little um, marking points. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to um, lay this on here like this with just a little bit hanging off the edge and then I'm going to take and I'm going to do my figure 8 Okay, just like this. There is a video on this, so I'm going to go kind of quickly so I can finish up. I'm going to take my good Stampin' Up! craft scissors that I use only for um, ribbon and material. And this, this, if you were going to do it all by itself, is about 16 inches. Um, I can do it probably in 14, but to start off with, if you're not used to these, you're just going to take and you're going to use about 16 inches. And then we're going to take it and tie it nice and tight. and then we're just going to clip off the ends after we get this nice and tight. I always check it before I take it off just to make sure that that looks really good. Okay, and then we're just going to take it off here. We're going to fluff 
the ends like this. And remember, I do have another video on uh, double fork bows and triple fork bows, so you can go and check those out. Okay, and I'll take a mini glue dot here and just add that to the top of this. And that is my post for today. If you have any questions, hop on over to my blog, give me a call, e email me, um, let me know what you're thinking. And there it is. There's our two cards. If you have, like I said, any questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great day.